Hi, my name is Stan. Check out those kids, huh? They're really, really beautiful. I am right now in the Pelican Falls First Nation High School, right in the gym, during the Youth Forum. And this right here is a student-led youth forum. What does that mean? It means the young people are taking full control of this amazing opportunity to make a difference in their school. Right now the group behind me is doing accommodations. So they're actually making recommendations on how they can make the accommodations better for them. But not just recommendations, but some of the things that they can do as okay. well. Okay, get oh, your check final out. answers in. We've got one minute left. That's Mallory on the microphone. And the neat thing about Mallory on the microphone is that recently she was in charge of just taking time. And I told her, you know what, Mallory? You gotta do more than that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna encourage you to step forward and to take the microphone and to make announcements throughout it. And she didn't want to do it. But I told her, you can. You can do it. And you know what? If you tell yourself you can and you will, it's going to happen. So what happens now? I get to stand up to the side to make a journal entry and talk to all of you. And she does all the work. Mallory, right back there. There she is. And this kid's amazing. Hi, Mallory. I'm making a video entry. Let's go. Right on. Thank you. Awesome. Awesome. I'm so proud of you. I'm so proud of you. That's Mallory. She's in grade 11 and they have a, a grade 11 leadership class and a grade 12 leadership class. So what I did is on, is on Tuesday I met with both leadership classes right here in the gym and I spoke to them about leadership and why leadership is really important and how First Nations, us. Okay, that's time. Switch time, rotate, clockwise. Need good effective leaders. I want to introduce you to your friend. Okay. This is Patrick. He's right back here, Patrick. Right back here. He's, he's a teacher here. I had an opportunity to hang out with your friends yesterday. How did it go, Patrick? Tell all my friends how it went. The class went very, very well. It was an amazing, amazing experience. The kids were so interactive and so full of energy and just happy to be around you. Have this ability to just inspire kids and really relate with them like like no other person I've seen so far here. Thanks. No problem. We're gonna take a pause, we're gonna go meet Miss Juliet. So we'll, we'll talk to you in a few minutes. Thank Sounds you, Patrick. Good. No, problem. Problem. no problem. Let's go see this lady. For sure. The students are talking about four subjects. Accommodations, after school, academics, and minopamatsu. Minopamatsuin, of course, means the good life. So what are all the great things I really like about coming to School of Pelican? We understand in this forum it could be really heavily based on recommendations. We thought it'd be really neat for the kids down over here to actually talk about the great things about this school. That way we can hang up posters all around the school to remind other kids about how special this place really is and what it truly represents. Education, capacity, it's all about the present and the future. And that's what it should really represent with these kids. These kids, they want to thrive. These kids, they want to live life. These kids want to feel good. The reason why this is so important is because the youth leaders never done this before. But as you see behind me, they are taking charge. For the first time, they are leading discussions. For the first time, they're being proactive in the school, wanting to make this a better place. One of the things that really, truly give me joy about the work that I do is when young people take chances. And when young people take risks, and they feel better about themselves. And risks is really important to make, because risks are all about, I don't think I can do this, but I'm gonna try it anyway. And when they succeed, they feel really good, they feel really powerful. And to me, that's what empowerment's all about, is getting the kids to be active and to be proactive and to do special things, and they're part of change. The other thing about being empowered is knowing that you've made a difference in somebody else's life. And something's telling me, these kids will never forget this day. My name is Stan. Thanks.